Hello everyone and welcome to this Selenium with Python tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to handle the basic authentication. So let's begin. First, let's understand what is the basic authentication and why we need to handle it. So for this particular tutorial, I will be using the Internet Hero app. So this is a website and here you need to go to this basic auth. Click on this one and as soon as you click on this one, it will redirect to an other URL which is internetheroapp.com slash basic auth and this pop-up appears and here you need to provide the username and the password then you can sign into this particular website so if you don't provide the correct username and password here this will not let you into the website so for example i'm giving some dummy username and password and if i click on sign in it will not allow me right if even if i click on the cancel it says we are not authorized right so you will find this kind of authentication pop-ups in different web applications now the challenge here is that if i go back here and click on this one here if i right click on this one there's no inspect element right there's no html written for this one and if there's no html written for this one then how we can identify this field how we can provide the username and password here so this is the problem that's why we need to handle this basic authentication here so let's see how we can do this for this let me go to the python here and let me create one new python file let me name it as basic auth and the first thing is that we need to import a web driver so from selenium we need to import web driver and First, what we'll do is that because we need to provide the username and password, and if I do cancel on this one, but before that, let me show you if we provide the correct username, so it will let us in, and here it will say congratulations message, right? So the username and password is admin and admin here, and the URL is basically this one. Okay, let me copy this one, and here I need to provide the username. So basically, first I create a variable called username and the username is basically admin and the password is equals to admin as well. And now we need a driver. So driver equals to web driver dot chrome. And after this, let's maximize this one and try to maximize this one first and now driver dot get and here we need to provide a url so in order to handle this kind of authentication as we know that there's no html so we cannot locate those elements so what we can do is that we can append the username and password into the url so that it will allow us to this particular application so what is the syntax for this one the syntax for this one is pretty much easy here so it's basically https colon or http then we have username colon password okay at the rate this domain so in above, uh, above case domain slash bar. so this this is the very simple way so what i'll do is that here i need to provide a username colon password and at the rate so this is the domain this is the username this is the password at the rate sign then we have this domain slash path so that's how actually we can handle this authentication now let's run this one but before executing this one let me put some time dot sleep here so so that we can see that it is working fine so let's run this one and see what happens here so it should successfully let us in yes it says congratulations you have provided the valid credentials so in this way you can basically handle the basic authentication so again 
this remember this format you need to provide before after your protocol double forward slash you need to provide the username colon password at the rate domain slash path so this is what we have done here and which allows us to access this particular application having this basic authentication thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial